Hey and welcome back. This is a video tutorial on grid material. So we have here a scene with uh, some just uh, squares and uh, boxes and uh, tube and we're going to test that on this scene. So let's get started. So the first thing we want to do is we want to add here a grid the grid texture grid okay so we have a small preview so basically the way it works this is the line outside so here it's we see it's white so let's for example let's put um, a color and choose like uh, blue that'll be good and this will be the line and the inside the fill color let's put a different color let's put like a yellow so some yellow okay so we have two colors let's do preview so now we see how we can control um, the colors now the line width and uh, it's how much on the U on the V so for example if we put here um, let's say 0.5 so it'll be more thick on the sides on the U side and if we'll put it on here 0.5 we get it on the top side so we don't want it so thick we'll put it 0 0.01 and 0 0.01 and this will be um, and this uh, this is our first uh, render and you can see here how it works basically it takes the face and it puts the line around it like you see here and also same for the spherical for the tube if you go to uh, view hidden geometry you can see the faces every face is divided by um, by this uh, grid so now we'll take a look how we can create tiles and more interesting stuff with this grid so let's apply some material any material and let upload an image so we upload this image of uh, some some marble and we want to create from this um, um, uh, tiles so the way we're going to do it we're going to um, go to uh, material editor and here instead of putting just um, on, on diffuse instead of having just um, one we're going to put um, we're going to see blend blend material so on, on A we're going to put a bitmap and the bitmap we're going to put is the marble so we go to our marble material and this is the marble we're going to use and on the B we're going to use the grid so uh, here's our grid and we're going to reverse it we're going to put here the black so we put a color and we put a color here just black okay and here we're going to put a color and we're going to put white okay so one second yeah okay so we got it opposite okay so if we preview we can see the combination now we can change the multiply let's put it like two it's even too strong and let's put it even one let's keep it now like this and another thing I want to do I want to make it a little bit not so thick I want to do it like very narrow the line so I took it really down and you can see the change you barely can see it maybe we can put it up a little bit to like five this will be better okay now you can see a little bit okay so this is now our marble so if I render this I can see every image got tiled so if I go here position you see each one of those have a line of this um, this grid now if I want it more smaller I want the grid to have a few lines in one of those so what I need to do I just go to my um, in the in the in the blend material into the grid material and here and the UV uh, change the the scale to 10 and send for here 10 and now if I render it 
I can see a lot of lines and if I render the scene again I can see it actually give me like a tile now this is way too much but I'll change it a little bit like to five maybe uh, all you need to test it and see what's good for you this looks good so the thing I want to do now I want to add a bump so what I can do I can use the bump same grid I use the grid map for the bump here I also need to change it to 5 because if I won't change it it will be on each square texture one time and we want it like 5 times so now you can see this nice grid now it's very very thick and it's also the opposite so we're going to change this we'll put a color and we're going to put the black here on the line and the white on the inside white will be inside so we have like a nice bump map and we can put a little bit grayish not white white so be um, so this is the preview and if I don't want it the, the line so thick I put 0 0.1 and 0 0.1 and now if we render it we'll see we have this nice bump in the middle and same for the displacement but this is the idea okay so I have your uh, scene and I want to show another cool stuff that you can do I got here a uh, soccer ball in the soccer small field and thank you for uh, for modeling the soccer ball I got it from warehouse you can get this as well and so I have here this color and this is going to be the net so we're going to add some uh, bitmap uh, uh, bit so I'm going here and I'm going to go to fabric and I download from CG texture some just fabric black fabric and I upload it here so now I have this uh, fabric. So now I want what I want to do. I want to control the transfer the transparency with the grid map. So on the transparency, I'm going to put a grid map. And uh, one second here, let's find it. This is the grid map, and I'm going to choose on the outside. I want a color, and I want a white. No, I want a black. In the inside I want a white so we'll get like kind of a net so uh, a color and to pull black okay so now I have like um, oh I can I sorry my my choose white here okay so now we have like a white and black now the nice thing about it that I can choose this will just make it squares squares so I don't want it squares what I want to do I want to have some noise so if you press here noise what it does it distort it a little bit but let's put the amount a little bit up and like five in size maybe we can um, let's try five also let's see um, no that's no good we'll, we'll put it down to like 0.9 and see how this is works okay I like this one and let's see how uh, this surrenders you see this use a color texture as a trend tra uh, transparency so you need to um, unclick it and once you do that you can get this effect using this map so I'll render this scene and I will get back after this okay so this is the render uh, first test I like it you see how you get also this texture on the uh, net and also the cool thing about it it's really transform transparent because you have the alpha if you put the alpha on you can see through it okay but the only thing it's very big so we're going to enlarge it I want every one of those um, we want every one of those to be divided by four or three something like that so what we need to do we need to ch choose this color and go here uh, to the uh, to the sorry to the transparency and here choose uh, put the UV map down to like uh, let's say if I put like three here and three here so um, 
we get uh, let's see how it looks we get some more uh, divide and another thing I want to add is I want to add some material to this uh, pull just standard just reflection and I'll put it down to 0.65 to have a nice um, uh, render my final result so this and I'll put the subdivision up to um, 35 25 is my usual okay for the grass I'm just going to add a bump map uh, because uh, I can add displacement but then it takes a long time to render so I just add a bump map something like that I have this bump map from online but there is all kind of stuff for grass you can use any of those and this will be for the bump so I think I'm ready to render so I'll render and I'll show you the result so this is the final render and you can see how you can see through and you can see some of the texture on the grid and you can also see um, the noise the nice noise and it looks very nice and it's all just one face so you don't have a lot of geometry in your model and a very very uh, if you have big fence you can do stuff like this and all kind of sort of stuff thank you for watching please like and subscribe check out our channel we created this um, we have a video how to make a uh, render uh, a panoramic like this and you can actually do some tours and go from one room to another this is very cool this is in the um, in the same software sky that panoramic and this is the video it's on our channel thanks